My okay. entire career, my rule has always been document the manual process first, mm -hmm. always. Okay. Because if you go and do everything in Puppet, now I got to read Puppet code to see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. How can I suggest anything better? So I if see. you write it down manually and mm -hmm. you say, first get a VM, mm -hmm. install, change log, then take this load balancer, put this certificate here, mm -hmm. then then get this credential, put it in this file, then connect to Postgres this version with these extensions. So now I can see the entire thing that you're doing. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing I do is say, okay, now that we understand all the things that are required to run this app, I wanna see the manual steps that you're doing, mm -hmm. all of them. We build the app using this make file. Mm -hmm. We create a binary. We take the binary and we put it where? Mm -hmm. You're not storing the binaries anywhere? Oh, no, we're just making this assumption that we could just push the binary to the target environment. You need to fix that. That's a bad assumption. Mm -hmm. You need to take the binary and preserve it mm -hmm. so that way we can troubleshoot later in different environments mm -hmm. and we can use it to propagate. Oh, okay, Kelsey, good idea. So we're just going to fix the manual process until it looks the best we can do for what we know at the time. Right. Now, once we have that, I'm going to give that process a version. Mm -hmm. This is 1.0 of everything. We've cleaned some things up. We saw some bad security practices. Mm -hmm. We clean up the app. So now go automate that.